I hope it works. I'm I'm gonna wait and to see to te- to <laughs> be the test. Did I start too early? No, it's working. Yay! Cool. Yeah, I see it. I see it. All right. We've got a little awesome. countdown going on. Yay! Cool. I hear you. Hold on. Yeah, mute it. it. Mute the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I have to mute you. I have to mute it as well, actually. Now I thought about it. Oh my God! Did you see the trailer for War of Spark? No, I haven't. Not yet. Oh my. Gosh. Not yet. I've Not never yet. even seen that game, but holy shoot! <laughs> I'll makes check me it out. Definitely, definitely check it out. <laughs> oh, do we have anyone online yet? We've got ten people watching. Cool. Not bad to start. Hey, what's up? I've got a little chat box here. I can't read it clearly. Oh, here we go. Naru, oh, one, two, three. Did I pronounce it right? What's up, man? Oh, girl. Alright, it's gonna give it a few minutes just for everyone to just slowly trickle in. What do you think my countdown? Cool, huh? Yeah, it's all electrified. I nicked it from someone's... I don't know, I found it on YouTube. <laughs> That's probably a little cool. Let me download it and add it. <laughs> hey, Natalie. I'm Natalia. Natalia, sorry. Natalia. Uh, Whoever made good. this countdown, oh, yeah. I wish I knew who it was so I could like do a shout out for them because this countdown is awesome. 18 people. Yeah, let's go for 1 million. I want 1 million people. Prepared. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, nice. This. Well done. We got a ready Freddy. I'm very proud. <laughs> very, very ready Freddy. That's a good one. Hello, uh, Mr. Spider. Hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. Getting ready. I'm hoping I set the stream up correctly. Do I sound clear? Does Cherish sound clear? I don't know, because I'm not going to listen. I've muted everything. It sounded clear. clear when you burst it in my ear. <laughs> it did ago. sound pretty clear. <laughs> I know. You heard yourself. You're like, hello, me. The music's going to drop down after the countdown, so don't worry, it won't be loud. So we've got 22 people, really close to 1 million. Hey, Toonie, hey, what's up, Wayne? Awesome. But why isn't the chat popping in the chat box on screen? That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Should I get rid of the chat box, that box on the screen? It's white. Do you see like text coming up? That was meant to be like the chat box on the actual video. Now mine's loading. It's like a, almost like it's buffering. Let me get rid of it. Hold on. Refresh. Be right back, guys. Refresh. Here we go. 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Be right back. And we're live. All right. Hello, Sky Strip Burns 34. Hey, what's up, everyone? Paris Christo, you know me, ToonboxStudio.com, and I'm here with the lovely Cherish Duh. Is that wow. your Is that your actual like tag name for like the interwebs? Everything. Or, right. All right. Great. Yeah. Cherish Duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to be back. It brings back memories, man. When's the last time we did a live stream together? This was like. I don't know. It's been a long time. Over a year ago. Over a year and a half ago. Probably, yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, guys, let me just quickly say a few things before we start talking about the main topic of this stream. Um, and uh, basically, the reason I'm, I'm here on live right now is so that uh, we can discuss any future ideas for this channel, and I want to call on you guys to help me out here. But before we get stuck in, I want to bore you guys just for like three, four minutes about uh, what's happened in the past year, uh, why I disappeared, and why I came back. So, sorry, Cherish, I'm going to have to bore you for a few minutes. All right. Uh, I'm looking at you draw toes right now. I yeah, like to be this is a drawing of Cherry <laughs> um, with these bunny rabbits. And at first, I wanted to try and draw Cherry in a different style because I saw this picture of this lady. I think she was a French actress, I'm not sure. And I liked her features. I wanted to test it on her. And in the end, I didn't like it. And towards the end of this whole bit, um, stream, you're going to see me bring back Cherry's original face. So, yeah. Anyways, so I want to talk a little bit about reasons why um, an artist decides to go online, right? Does anybody know why artists go online? The reason why we go online is because we want to showcase what we can do, yeah? Uh, yeah. And the purposes behind that 
are very simple. Basically, to brand ourselves, to uh, open doors, get our names out there, get discovered by businesses and individuals, to land a full-time job, a part-time job, or maybe you want to go freelancing, you want to land a project or some commissions. All right. So these are the main purposes why we go online. And an audience, building an audience, helps us to brand ourselves and get our names out there. They help us to by engaging with our work, uh, to to spread the word out. Right, so we could reach a wider audience to get it, to gain exposure. That's the real reasons why we go online and why we need to build a fan base based around our artwork. Now, on that topic, um, for me, my priority has always been and always will be constantly learning every day, um, practicing and improving, and creating artwork. It's always been there. Um, that's why on YouTube, it's, I've never really wanted to be that personality. I never wanted to be some, you know, YouTube sensation. It was always about the artwork, you know, drawing and painting, and that's my craft, and that's what I love to do. Um, but unfortunately, uh, YouTube uh, hasn't been rewarding enough to me as an artist. Because, uh, like I said before, to be able to expand and reach a wide audience, you need your audience to engage. Um, and I never knew this until I got onto Instagram. And when I got onto Instagram, uh, at first, I didn't like Instagram. I thought it was a silly platform for <laughs> I remember. for girls to take in. <laughs> I thought it was a platform for women that just. He was like, "This is this is ridiculous." <laughs> he complained. And I thought it was just a, a platform for women taking selfies, doing that fish face, or you know. So, but when I got into it, and I started to understand the algorithm. I really understood how amazing that platform is for an artist, and I'll tell you why. Because the engagement on there is incredible. I saw results on there that I've never seen on my YouTube channel. And that's when things started to change for me over a year ago. And I don't know if you guys have been following me for all these years. You remember how active I was on YouTube, weekly videos. I do. Exactly. And then suddenly I just disappeared. <laughs> and that's because I started to value my time and effort to create an art piece. And seeing that over 100,000 people were not watching the video of an art piece that I created, but on Instagram, a post was doing so well. I mean, I averaged like a thousand to two and a half thousand likes per post, something that I've never seen before. So that's the reason why I disappeared. I had to protect my artwork. I had to protect the time and effort that I invested. Now, I want to talk about YouTube now as a platform, because don't get me wrong, YouTube is a fantastic platform, but YouTube is a video platform. It's not an image-based platform. Whereas Instagram, although it does have video option, it's an actual image platform where everyone likes to observe an image and grade it, right? Um, but <laughs> what is engagement? Does anybody actually know what engagement really is? It means somebody viewing your content, um, liking it, commenting on it, and sharing it with their friends, right? Participating, yeah. participating in your community. Exactly. It's really about artists are trying to create communities where people want to grow with the artist as much as the artist yeah. wants to grow with its community. Exactly. And every artist should seek that. That is your number one reward. It means two things. Number one, people are enjoying what you're doing. So you want to commit back by making more. But number two, it helps push that post or your content through the algorithm to reach a wider audience. That's what the purpose of engagement is. You need it. Now, YouTube. Oh, by the way, hi, hi everyone. Anyone who's just just popped in, loved your how to draw cherry tutorial. Thank you very much. Hope you, got, hope you really uh, took notes and practice. Nice. Right now, YouTube. This is important for a lot of people to understand because I never understood this when I first started. I wish I had the knowledge I have now and go back in time and go up to myself and do a 360 turn backhand across my face <laughs> right, <but. laughs> and say, wake up, here's the knowledge that you need. I never researched. I don't know if I ever told you guys how I started YouTube. But anyway, I've been, I'll talk about that later on. But YouTube, you can, to be a successful channel, all the ingredients that you need are basically, there are only two types of YouTubers right, that you have to pick which routes you want to take. You've got YouTuber number one who creates content based on entertainment. And what is that exactly? It could be comedy, funny videos, memes and stuff. It could be music, right? It could be gaming, anything to entertain your audience for a few minutes, right? Something that'll be wow, bring a smile to someone's face that they'll want to engage and share it and come back to see more. Then you've got YouTuber number two. YouTuber number two is a person who creates content based on, in, on information and value. 
What does that mean? Well, information could be something like um, reviewing a product or something. It could be um, uh, upcoming news or gossip and stuff like that. Uh, but then you've got value. And what value is, is a solution to a problem. So basically, somebody is stuck. They don't have to do something specific. So they go on YouTube and they search how to do whatever it is. And they'll find a million videos. They pick one. And the purpose of that video is to take that person through this transformation from not knowing something to finally understanding it. Right? In art terms, it will be how to draw this, how to draw that, how to paint this, how to paint that, for example. Right? And then you've got irrelevant channels like mine. Right? <laughs> not irrelevant. I'm being serious, man. If you want the correct ingredients to a successful channel, listen to Paris C, right? I'm giving you, like, this is value right now I'm giving to you guys, right? So you've got channels like mine. My channel is very unorthodox. What do I mean by that? Well, it's not entertaining. I mean, I might amuse you for a few minutes, but it's not real entertainment. Like, something like a wow factor that you're going to go and share with not your friends. Action. Yeah. And it's not also valuable or information based. I'm, you, might, you might pick a thing or two up from a speed video with, if you've got good observation, but it's not something that I'm teaching you, right? Taking you by the hand like my courses on my website where I'm teaching you step by step everything, demonstrating, explaining. I don't do that. So my content is very unsearchable, unengageable, unshareable, any words that end with able, right? That's my channel. And it's actually impressive I actually got it to 100,000 subscribers because if you don't have all those criteria and all those ingredients, you can't do it. And you have to seriously think outside the box, new tactics and strategies. And I guarantee you, nine times out of ten people that subscribe to my channel, I had a hand in it. It's very hard. And if I was to go back in time and start over again, I wouldn't do this. Remember, either entertainment or information value-based channels. Is, is it weird that I loathe that he says that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm being honest, man. It's like I wish I had this knowledge. I didn't research. Did I ever tell you but guys? But I feel like you, you like, if you haven't had this knowledge in all these years, imagine how far you're going to keep going. Everything we do is a learning process, right? Of course, yeah, that's exactly true. And now you keep learning, but what if you're learning all of this for for like a combined purpose? Like, hello, cherry cartoons. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. I do appreciate my time I've invested. You know, I've, I keep I, bugging him about I've cherry developed. cartoons. I yeah, really she want does. one. Do you guys want one? <laughs> I want one. I'm probably one of the I only artists who haven't got prints online. You know, it's something I should look into. But I do appreciate my time on YouTube. You know, through YouTube, I got to get discovered. I got to design characters. I got to my name out there and everything. I started my businesses online and stuff. So it did have its, you know, its perks. But if I could go back in time, I would change things up again. So now, remember, like I said in the beginning, what's our purpose is to brand ourselves as artists, to get our names out there and show off what we can do, right? And my priority has always been my artwork. That's why you've never seen me on my videos. It's always been about the artwork. So now that I'm back after a year and a half, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give myself a second chance. I'm going to give YouTube a second chance. I'm going to give you know, my audience a second I'm going to give the whole package a second chance. But what do I do? That's the question. That leads up to this topic of today's live stream, where we're going to try and work out how we're going to do a 180 degree flip of this channel. Because I've decided that my artwork will be officially created and designed just for a platform like Instagram and anything else like Instagram because I'm getting the results over there. Now on YouTube, we've got to think of something and See, and we've got to think of something. Maybe. I've already got an idea, but I just want to see everyone else's ideas. What does Wayne say there? Uh, do it, Paris Cherry Tune, all right? What, you want a, a cherry animated cartoon or something? I guess that's what everyone's Yes, please. Generally speaking, but I learned digital from you. That's really nice, uh, Mahi. I, I'm happy that you learned. Uh, if you learned through my speed videos, that means you've got really good observational skills. But, you know, still. And what, what's that? And uh, nurture. Keep nurturing those observational skills because that means that you yeah. will start to see the shapes of everything and you'll be able to yeah. keep learning and nurturing not only your artistic craft, but mm -hmm. tons of other crafts like sculpting or building and things like and that. And it's not easy, it's you know. About keep expanding. No, it's no, not easy. But it starts with some belief in exactly. yourself for sure. But you guys, if you guys pick up stuff from a speed video, because that's, that's really hard to do, to pick up, you know, to learn from a speed video. It's different from a real life. Like right now, you're going to watch me draw like in real time now. 
So you should be able to pick up something even more easier right now with your eyes versus a speed video in a few seconds, like, like through the whole thing. So that's quite impressive that you guys <laughs> learned a thing or two. So, I huge, wanna, go on. can I interrupt yeah, you? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Just because you're drawing those circles and things, I want to explain some. When I draw things, because I'm an artist too, but I learned how to definitely how to draw from Paris as well, just because Paris does this interesting thing that I don't see a lot of artists do. But What's he that? definitely finds the shapes within things that he's trying to draw. So, like, usually, Primitive like. Shapes. Yeah. Yes, and he broke it all down in a way that was very easy with shapes. So seeing like a cylinder or a rectangle. Mm. So when I look at things that I'm trying to draw, like if I'm trying to draw a shelf or I'm trying to draw, like I look at all of the different shapes within the actual object or the person the whole or the character. Yeah. Yes. So he, yeah, you're looking more at like. It turns it into like almost like a shadow in your head, and you're like seeing all the different shapes, like a exactly. shadow. I don't know how to explain it, but it's I know a very exactly interesting what you mean. thing. So, did I tell yeah, you how I, I mean, how I you discovered guys should it? Definitely check out past past videos of of if you can not find only any. the speed videos, <laughs> but the tutorials. Do you still have your tutorials? I've on taken your everything down, darling. I've taken like most of my videos. Oh I don't know if you guys God. noticed. Yeah, everything's down for many reasons. What the main reason is because uh, the skill level doesn't represent me anymore. I've improved so much since back then that if right. someone's to see that now, they'll be like, no, that's not Paris's work, no way, you know. And that's another little tip. If you're online, no, no matter which platform you're on, uh, every day you should be improving and even year by year. So you look back at your old work. If it does not represent your skill set, I advise you to get rid of it. And I'll tell you why. Because nowadays, um, these platforms, we're basically building a digital online portfolio. That's what you're doing. It's not like we were two decades ago where you had to go physically with a bag. I remember I used to go with a bag of like a portfolio to present my work. Now it's your platforms, your social medias and stuff. So keep on. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You should you should uh, put the put the tutorials back up, man. I know I'd rather make better ones. Your skill set <laughs> now. Yeah, I ah, but they were so amazing. I've left a couple. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Um, <laughs> but I've taken down even even the cherry pinup videos I've taken down. I've taken down so many. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm yeah. Um, but we've got to understand that YouTube people treat it like a TV. So imagine a TV. And you've got all these TV channels, just like YouTube channels, and you've got the TV shows, and you've got all these TV, you know videos content on each channel. And people observe it like that, whether you understand that or not. That's what we do subconsciously. We use it as a t yeah. as entertainment or to educate ourselves and um, so now I'm at a stage where I need to make a decision what am I going to do and uh, no <laughs> put the pinups back ah oh, bless I'd rather remake them because some of them are really terrible man it's like I look back at some of them you know actually I want to say something actually. I think you're way too hard on yourself man no man I'm just, I'm just <laughs> evolving I'm evolving I'm upgrading I need to upgrade <laughs> I love I love so many of those videos I love so many of your art pieces like we're supposed to grow we're supposed to expand it's about the the experience we don't we don't yeah. stay babies forever that's true you know <laughs> that is true <laughs> And that having having that portfolio of evolution is part of your journey as an artist. It's the adventure of the ups and downs. Mm. Your lows create your highs. I know. Without your lows, you wouldn't know what your highs are. You wouldn't be where you are without That's absolutely those ones. Right. And I think it's great for artists who are kind of at the start of their their kind of artistic adventure to be able to see your trials and errors, to see that you aren't a well, perfect I haven't deleted artist, everything. but you're an evolving artist. I haven't deleted everything. They're still there. It's just, oh, good. It's just good. unlisted. You know? <laughs> you give me a, you give me a little. <laughs> they're little still there. Time. And I've the funny thing was, you know, we know what the funny thing was is that whilst I was taking them down one by one, I actually sat down and watched every single video I created, and it was actually amazing because I actually got to see my first videos, and then see my latest work, and I'm like, wow, actually practice does actually work. Yeah, you know, I should make a video on that. I should actually make a video to collect all my images from YouTube. From day one, when I started the channel, all the way up to or, now, so you see like the evolution. Or, or you could uh, remake all of your videos and then put the videos speed thing doing side by side of your remake and <laughs> That'd classic. be funny. I wouldn't mind that doing that. That would be freaking cool. Well, listen, <laughs> I wouldn't, like I wouldn't mind doing traveling. that. Yeah, that'd be actually <laughs> awesome, isn't it? Side by side. Actually, that's not a bad idea, chair. That's not a bad oh, idea. Look at that with the Mr. Spider says you should 
uh, why not redo your old piece? Ah, see, that's exactly what you just said. Sharon. Oh, look at that. Great mind. So the Great future mind. content is decade from now on will not exist. Well, the only reason I took them down, um, Alan, was uh, because they don't represent my skill set now. Um, and I, I don't want people but to... But we're land. reinventing that. Look at yeah. that. Now, in the past, I did take, if you guys have been with me for years, you, you already know this, but I've been taking old cherry pinups I used to make and I remade them. Um, but um, the problem is, is that, right, here's, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with everyone, right? For me to create a video for YouTube, a five, ten minute video, all right, I have to come up with a sketch, I have to sketch it out, I have to, you know, uh, ink it and color the whole thing, then I move on to video editing and then adding intros, outros, lower thirds, narration, music, any effects, render the whole video out to upload it on YouTube. That's the, that's the routine. That takes me about five, to, five days to one week. And during that week, I'm getting like back aches, neck aches, migraines, <laughs> right? And the problem is, is sure. this is the problem I had, is that <laughs> the problem was that I'm uploading videos to an audience of 100, whatever it is, 30,000 people, but nobody's really watching it. No one's really engaging with it. I've got like 5,000 to 7,000 people watching a video. So, and then you've got Instagram, the same image that I created in the video, I post the image on Instagram and I get 1,000 to 2,500 likes and it's, 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 you know what I mean? So, this bunny's face is amazing. <laughs> it's cool, right? He's so, so annoyed. That's what, <laughs> you what wait to see the others as well. <laughs> right, so, oh, uh, I love it. So basically, that's the reason why I stopped over a year ago because I thought I was wasting my time because people weren't watching my videos and I don't blame the audience I blame myself because back to what we said you have to be one of the two types of youtubers a person offering entertainment or value and I'm neither so these guys shouldn't be able to I mean you guys are right you guys are a handful of people that watch my stuff and you guys are like genuine serious people who want to learn and pick up on a few things you're engaging yeah but not everyone's like you uh, the majority of your audiences on or the people that support YouTube as a platform are here for two things either entertainment or to learn something right and, and my videos offer neither so that's why I decided my drawing and my creations and stuff like that will be dedicated to Instagram but I will pop in every now and then to make a video but I need to do something different all right and it has to be something that will be engageable and searchable and be able to reach a wider audience I so totally just burp. sorry so I've got two options, right? Either offer information-based value type content, which I don't want to. But that's why I have my website, right? Or go towards entertainment, but it has to be arts related. So I already have an idea. Actually, this is the idea that I have it was actually triggered by a, f a fan on Instagram who gave me this idea. His name is Robert. I don't know if he's here or not. Um, Shout out. Hey, Julio. Nice to, uh, glad to see you. Yay. I'm glad to be back. This actually feels good, guys. Seriously, it feels nice being Definitely in front of you guys. Definitely agree, <laughs> Definitely agree, Timpet, I agree with you. Oh, thanks, Timpet, man. That means a lot, seriously. Frankie Thomas, what's up? Hey, Frankie. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Why not put before and after comparison? Yeah, he, that, these he, are nice concepts. You know nice what's concepts. funny is he started doing that. He started doing that um, original. What when you I started going them. back and started doing redoing yeah. some of your I paintings, recreated right? like seven or eight of them or something, or maybe more. I can't remember. And they did well. Right. I, won't, I won't lie, they did well. It was nice because people got to see the evolution there, like before and after. They got to see how I used to be like years ago and how I improved. Yeah, which I think would be great to redo the videos like that side by side to see how that's you not kind a bad, of changed bad idea. your technique. But that's like a one video type. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Do you know what I mean? It's for not something sure. I could can do, you do the, Can you do the Peter Pan one? You like that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'll do a better version. I will do one, actually. But, I really so, love that one. This is the moment now where I want to ask you guys questions. I already have an idea. And I think it's a cool idea. But I wanna, I'm going to run by it with you guys in a while. But I want you to have in mind that it has to be something that's entertaining. So that somebody will watch it and re-watch it or come watch more videos and share it with their friends and stuff. So it has to be entertaining. Plus, it has to be involved with art. It has to be like some illustration on the screen, right? So that will keep it interesting. It's crazy how your bunnies have changed too because, you know, I've seen a couple of your older ones oh, yeah, yeah, bunnies. Yeah. Girl, listen, ever since I stopped for over a year now, it's been like a year and a half since I've really stopped on YouTube. 
And I invested all that time I used to invest on YouTube. I invested it in just learning and practicing. And I've seen firsthand like how much that it works, guys. Trust me, practice works. It seriously does. Uh, constantly observing your, the people that you oh, idolize, nice. and yeah, it does. All right, what else do we have here? It would inspire people to work on their paintings progress. You mean like, what do you mean? You mean like a critique type thing? A lot of you said critiques. Listen, I've read the comments and the ideas you guys left a few videos back. Now, to be honest, if this was me a few years ago, you know I me, mean, I would have said yes to every single idea. But it has to be something that, you know, that doesn't cater just an individual. It has to cater to a wider audience. You have to think that. What do you recommend for those who feel like chewing more of what they can in knowledge when being a newbie? Hmm. Just go for it. It's fun. Yeah. Just dive in. I mean, you learn at your own comfortability. If you plunge in and you're like, well, this is a lot more than I can chew or swallow. I can't even move my jaw up and down, you know. Then you know to spit some of that, spit some of that knowledge out. Exactly. Maybe go back, you know. But you, you definitely find your own comfort in your own pace as an artist, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. Dive into the deep end. That's what I used to do. I, sure. I, I never, uh -huh. I, believe it or not, I never went into like the beginner stuff. I couldn't stand it. I just went to do whatever the pros were doing i went to try uh, although i sucked you know <laughs> i wasn't doing the what yeah. they were doing but I, just, I didn't care i just wanted to do what they were doing so don't don't be For scared sure. just dive in get as much information michelle says hey michelle uh, i wish you could draw cherry as captain marvel oh, she's a craze right now right a lot of i've seen a lot of uh, captain marvel images being drawn all over yeah, i thought it was a good i thought it was a good movie uh i haven't seen it yet yeah. i want to see it big time i have a great time. movie yeah it was a all great right. movie Definitely yeah, I know. I know it's a lot different than the comics, I believe, but yeah. uh, they definitely, they definitely did a great job in the movie. Hey, Jandros. Hi, hey, Jandros Madrid. I'm assuming you're Spanish. Hola. Welcome to the stream. God, it does feel good, Cherish man. Seriously, I haven't done this for such a long time, and it does feel nice. Seriously. I told you. It feels good. Yeah. Alan says, "Battle up. Oh, message restricted. Retracted. All right. Okay. So." Give me your ideas, guys. So what's your idea? You want to give your idea? All right. Oh, look at that. Same page. Bam. We're okay. like ideas. Ideas, by the, man. By the way, is the music okay? <laughs> is, it, is, the music, is the music too loud or is it just right? I don't want it to be too loud. I want you to be able to like, hear us at the same time. Uh, right, everyone's retracting messages. Man, I still think he should do a Cherry Ghostbusters. You know, <laughs> get that Ghostbusters up in there. Who we going to call? Thanks, Agatha. Cherry Buster. Agatha says, feeling great to see you again streaming. I oh, don't know, it does feel good. Seriously, it does. And uh, welcome, Agatha, to the stream. And everyone else who's just popping in right now. Uh, you can't hear the music. Really? Really, Michelle? Can you hear the music? Let me, let me bop uh -huh. it up a little bit. There we go. Not too much. If it's too loud, make sure you let me know in the chat. You shouldn't drop cherry with the six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I did draw a cherry a with six pack cherry actually. They said that. I did did, did it once, ages ago. You did, did did it. I did. <laughs> Ghostbusters okay. would be cool. Right. Did, did so, uh, I... on on Instagram, this one guy said to me, Paris, oh, have because you heard? My favorite one. Who? <laughs> Who? Hello, yo. You're so pretty. Who are you talking to? <laughs> The bunny's talking to her. Oh god, I'm like, what is she talking about? He <laughs> said, hello you. Oh, You're god. so party. What time is it over there? <laughs> it is 10.27. Alright, so it's nice and early. Greetings from Brazil. Nice hey. to see you around here again. Your style helps me find my own, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, Keep awesome, going. Awesome, Gabriel. Uh, Thanks. That's cool work. I'm always glad to see that. Like, oh, these little, these little comments the really field. make me feel like I did something right, you know. <laughs> all up in the fields. Well, you did do things right. Imagine how many people you've... Have you not Googled Cherry Pinup? Have you not seen how many people have tried to draw her? Yeah, Have yeah. tried to emulate the style of you? That is inspiration. You have inspired a movement of people in their own journey of art. Not only that, oh, look at all these sweet. beautiful viewers here. Hey, Who Daniel, what's up, my man? By you. I love Daniel. So Thanks for joining me, man. Creator, man. 
We love Cherry. All right. So a friend of mine. Well, this I had a follower who was following me on on Instagram, and he was always active. He was always like uh, liking my stuff and leaving me comments all the time. Really nice guy, and he does comics as well. Uh, I, th- I can't remember his username tag. His name is Robert though. Uh, to do a little shout out for him, but um, he goes to me. He sent me a message and says to me, "Paris, I've got an idea for you." And at first, I, I thought, "Hmm, is it a decent idea? Is it something I want to do?" And it triggered off me like this this urge to just like go back to YouTube and start researching what others are doing. And I saw like most of the YouTube artists are doing, you know, you know their thing that they do and stuff. And and I wasn't really interested in that. And I started seeing others, and one of these is a, a group of people that I saw, and what they do is limited animation with storytelling. I don't know if you guys know what that means. Um, I do. Do you know what that means? It's basically... Yeah. Well, you know how it is. 24 drawings equals one second, right? 24 frames per second. Right. Well, in limited animation, it could be like a handful of frames. Like, the only thing maybe that's moving is the mouth or maybe a little subtle movement on, on a pose, but it's the narration, the storytelling is the main thing. And this person told me to go and check out a few. And at first I was like, okay, not bad. But once I watched a few videos of their content, I actually got hooked. And I don't know if you guys have heard of people like Domix or Jaden Animation or Tabs. Have you guys heard of those people? I don't know if you've heard of them. They're super huge. Yeah. They're doing so well. And it really inspired me. I, I saw their work. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty, pretty good. You know, very limited animation, simplified drawings, not too, like, no. But the main focus is the storytelling. I don't know if you guys heard of them. Uh, maybe I could, like, I could paste, like, their names and you guys can search them. There you go. I got to know Jaden. She's amazing. Like, um, and, and Domix as well. And I'm sure there's a lot more that I haven't discovered yet. But I got hooked. And I liked it. I found it entertaining. Some of them were very emotional. Some were very happy and funny. Some were really sad and stuff. You know, some were just inspirational as well. And um, yeah, exactly, Kenna. Exactly. Uh, I just got hooked. I mean, actually, let me post their names in the chat. Hold on. And you guys can like maybe check them out. Uh, so you got Jaden Animation. There you go. And Domix and tabs they're the ones they're the three i was actually watching there we go they were in youtube rewind 2 this year really oh wow that's an achievement right that's what good for them good for them anyway so i I started watching their videos and i thought wow this is actually really cool i liked it and i spoke to like a few friends of mine who they're not as big as them but they do something similar uh and i I said to them listen what's the process and they told me all you need is a microphone and just start talking about either a topic or a memory or something and just record it. And all you have to do is just like draw, lower the music, hold on, I feel that's too loud. And then all you got to do is just draw the key poses for each point throughout the narration. And that is it. And then just, just animate the mouths and like maybe a few breakdowns in betweens and stuff. And that's it. And I thought it was really, really cool. So what, what do you guys think about something like that? Does that is it something that you find interesting? Well, it's kind of like a cherry cartoon. It could be cherry. It could be me. I could like create like a because that's what they do. They create like a, a cartoon avatar of themselves, sort of thing, and um, mm-hmm. they they go through like different moments. One person was talking about I don't know breakups, something that was emotional. Some person was talking about grabbing his first job. Another person was talking about his first day at college. You know things like that. It could be memories. It could be a, a funny gag. It could be anything, anything you want. It could be about a topic like some specific. A subject that's going on right now in the trend, you know. Um, Gabriel says, "Society of virtual virtue is amazing, like a motion." Co- oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that before. It's really good, really good. Is that software based, or is it? Do you do that online? I haven't looked into. It. I've seen it. I've seen like um, clips and stuff. Guys who make it uh, from here, Australia's Thomas. Okay, I'll give him. A, I'll, I'll check out this Tobias guy. I don't know who he is, but I'll check him out. I'm copying and pasting his name right now on a notepad. There you go. Kenna says that would be so fun. Right, cool. A cartoon would be really, really cool. Awesome. Pin up Paris version. <laughs> That'd be funny. I also see you, Cherry Bear, and Dark and Bunny, all you guys. I know, that was the original plan. Right, I, want, I think I should talk about what happened with, this, with the actual animation thing that I promised everyone I was bragging for so long. Hold on. Yeti says, yes, love the idea and put Cherry in them. Exactly. You know, I think it would be fun. I don't think I just I just feel like 
I hope that you don't leave Cherry behind in your journey of I could involve her because if you want. I feel like well, I feel like you should involve her in big time because you've spent all these years creating yeah. your brand, and Cherry is your brand. I know so, that right. she frustrates you. How about we you. discuss right now then? No, <laughs> oh, I love Cherry. Cherry changed my... The things that we love do frustrate us, though, sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think that with all of your commitment to her, there's a reason why she's stuck with you as long as you have, and you're stuck with her as long as you she's have. And I think that a cartoon she's avatar supposed me in to a way. expand with you. Well, she's such she's such, the way that she she's, she's my Mickey Mouse like she doesn't Disney, have, right? Right, but she, yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's yeah, my Mickey she's, Mouse. She's but more than that, she's it's not just the way that she looks because she's she's not completely over the top like sexy, but she's not completely over the top Disney cartoon either. She's kind of this in amazing in between yeah. that makes you comfortable to to witness. You know, you like looking at her and you fall in love with her because she's adorkable. You know? <laughs> adorkable. <laughs> she's just adorkable. <laughs> well she's accidentally she's accidentally sexy, you know what I mean? And that's not something that you typically find when that's you her thing, isn't it? look at artwork. Yeah, you look at artwork and it tends to be over the top try hard sexy. But when you look at Cherry, she's just kind of accidentally that way. She's I just never kind planned. of accidentally a appealing or attractive and I think that's that's something that makes you stand out as an artist and I makes agree. her stand out as it's a my character thing, for right? sure yeah, my hook for sure yes but I've never planned to dump Cherry I never said that I just dumped YouTube oh, right yeah. I mean on, on my Instagram <laughs> yeah. account I've, I've made so much um, artwork based around Cherry including other characters I designed I've got a new one called um, Mel and Annie I don't know if you guys seen it it's a, no. a lady with a flying leopard. I don't know if you've seen that one. Uh, oh, yes, 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 I did see that one. Actually, towards the end of this stream, I'll, I'll actually show some images for everyone to see, like some Instagram images and stuff. But um, I never planned to dump her, but this is where you guys come in now, all right? Um, uh, Gabriel said, pointed out something that I, I pointed out to you a while ago. What's that? Where is it? Uh, Your facial proportions turned a little more realistic along the way. Is that a choice of yours or just naturally it's, happened? No, it's not natural. It was a choice. Um, I, I didn't do it on purpose. Like, it didn't just like happen by accident. I just wanted to, to try something. Even this face that you're looking at now, that's not Cherry's face. Um, mm -hmm. That is actually a reference. I'm referencing, I'm looking at an image of a French. I think she's an actress or something. I don't know who she is. I just liked her facial features. And I wanted to try out on this character right here. And... I didn't like it towards the end. Although I like the facial, facial features, that's not cherry. So towards the end of the stream, you're going to see me um, erasing that face and putting back cherry's face. You're going to see it. Like, like you saw in the <laughs> thumbnail. If you saw the thumbnail of this stream, that was the actual end result. And um, yeah, but I like to experiment. I, I might see something that somebody drew. And I'm like, wow, that looks good. Let me see if I can try that. It's what, what it will look like on a, a character or on cherry or whatever, you know. So always experiment. That's my thing. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I've gone away from that t typical goofy. Um, you know how I used to George show back in the days where everything was like over exaggerated. She had like these humongous lips, right? That as if she like, I got do st remember. Stung by ten bees or something. They had like these huge eyes, like you know. She wasn't bad. She was like she was like a chibi version. <laughs> yeah, of <exactly>. cherry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, was that was my personality still. back then, and. As I grew and grew my skills as well and started observing what others were doing and how they were doing it, I was like, aha, uh -huh, okay, this looks ridiculous having a, a waist that's like one centimeter, right? <laughs> her waist was like so tiny back in the day, so I gave her more of a natural looking waist. It's still stylized, but not so exaggerated like it used to be. And that's just a learning process. Some people prefer the old cherry though. I've got people saying that to me. I'll prefer the old cherry. <laughs> But anyways. I, don't, I, don't. I, I like them. I like them all. I like the, the kind of metamorphosis of her. She's like a butterfly. She's right, let's butterfly catch you up with some questions here. All right, so Gabriel says, I noticed that, oh, that's the one you just answered me right now. Yeah, okay. Um, Michelle says, you should draw an evil chocolate bunny in the pic. <laughs> well, for Easter. <laughs> that's not a bad one, actually. Uh, Kenneth says, I love Mel and Ad Annie. Not Abby, Annie. Oh, there we go. Annie, well, cool to correct. <laughs> I always love Cherry and her animal companion. See, Kenna knows who she is. I love it all so much. Oh, you definitely what should you check use out Tom. The animation. Mm, I will check out Gabriel. I will check out Tobias. 
Dick says, I missed Two Box Studio outro jingle. Please play it. All right, I will towards the end. Um, Jonathan, mm-hmm. your ribe. Where's that? Hold Hello, on, I'm, I'm still behind Jonathan you. Jonathan Appleby. Tex Avery crossed eyes. <laughs> Tex Avery's my god. He's one of my he's one of my idols. Tex Avery, Chuck Jones, one of my idols. Have you guys seen the the documentary type movie of um, uh, Frank and Ollie, Johnston and Thomas? No. No. Oh, you guys gotta watch that. You know who they are, right? The one of the nine old men of Disney. Mm. You know, you guys know who the no. nine old men are? No. The guys who created everything mm. of Disney. They're like celebrities. Anyway. No. Well, go and check them out. <laughs> That's amazing how I need to look into it. <laughs> I just yeah, learned yeah. that apparently we don't have, we don't all have the same daylight savings time. <laughs> well, I guess because I'm into animation all my life, you know, some, they're, like, they're, like my, they're like my celebrities, you know, for animators, they're like the celebrities. Yeah. Right and um, there's two of them that really, they were all great, but two of them were called Frank and Ollie. They were best friends as well. And uh, they made the documentary slash type movie, well, based around their lives and see what everything happened between them and Disney and everything. And it's really interesting to go watch. Um, they said, yes, what's the name of that movie? It's called Frank and Ollie. Frank and Ollie. <laughs> I'm being serious, Frank and Ollie. I watched it like a week, when was it, like a week ago I watched it? It was so nice. I, I facepalmed myself because before, before Yeti asked that, I was thinking, what's the name of the movie? <laughs> Basically, the nine old men were the Their first... The, the, they, <laughs> the nine old men were the first animators of Disney. It was like the main team that did all those early you know, animated movies and shorts back in the days. And um, Disney kept them together for all, until he died. You know, they were like there. They grew old in the company. And he called them his nine old men. And these guys are the ones who created all the mechanics of animation, all the that, mm. that sophisticated the actual craft. They they made the principles right. of animation that you guys all know the, the principles of animation. They designed it, and they're famous for it. And just Frank and Ollie were the ones that really boomed. They they taught people like Glenn Keane and all those guys. You know, uh, it's amazing. Go check it out. You'll love it. So now that we all. Uh, Agreed with um, the idea of creating limited animation. Any Emma, questions? it's not a live. It's not. It's it's a. It is live stream. <laughs> we're we're answering live questions. Hey Emma. Right now. I just Hello. Gotta say, cute bunnies by awkward kids. Uh, Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, we're William live. Richie. It's real time sketching, but it's pre-recorded. The only reason I pre-recorded it is so that I'm able to read the chat box at the same time, and without thinking. Uh, not <laughs> How'd you know I'm using Windows 7? Was there, oh, there, okay. He saw the bar on the server. <laughs> I know, I can't stand Windows 10, man. I can't, I hate it. I don't know if I hate it or not. I just haven't given it enough energy to learn the whole thing. I just, when I first saw it, I was like, ah, go back to Windows 7. Easy. <laughs> User friendly. Uh, the master's yes, exactly, Gabriel. Exactly. They're, go check them out, guys. After the stream, go Google them. Nine old men. I've got books on them. I've got their work. I've got original pieces as well that I bought. Uh, frames from movies. They did everything from Snow White to Dumbo to Pinocchio. Yeah, the, these sketches pre-recorded, Emma. Because yeah. last time, last time he had did a he had did a live stream where he was sketching while he was trying to answer questions, and it was hard for him because he wasn't able to answer the questions and he yeah. wanted to interact with all of you it more. Slowed me down. He felt bad that he didn't get to do interact and sketch the way I that once he did wanted, a stream. He definitely wanted to of uh, an image that I created and it took me three streams to complete. That's ridiculous. And here's a little insight tip, by the way, something that nobody knows. This video, this sketch, I finished it in about 50 minutes when in fact it should have took me about 20, 20 to like, I don't know, 25 minutes max, right? I'm going so slow, it's just that it will last an hour long. <laughs> Look how long it takes me to make a smile. <laughs> Look how long it takes that little circle right there. It's like, my God, it's so slow. It's like, it was breaking my heart. I was like going nuts. Like, Jesus, it's so ages. It's taking ages. I had this timer as well on my left. I was looking at the timer. I was like, damn it, I still got ages to go. Damn it. I was like, let's draw another character. Another character. I want the, you know, the video to last an hour. <laughs> it's so bad. Look at that. Look how long it takes okay, me to sketch an ear. things, Emma. We're all human. It's okay to make some mistakes. Get it. Get it. Hey, Billy Vasilis, is that a friend of mine? What's up? Who else is on here? 
Uh, God, we've got 75 million people watching right now. 77 million. Jesus, that's unbelievable. That's so crazy. <laughs> right, so now that we've got onto the topic. And you Imagine guys... how much coffee that is. I know, right? Oh, look over here, it's morning time. <laughs> Paris is like, it's night time. <laughs> I know, right? Over here, do you know what time it is? Over here, it's, it's exactly quarter to nine. We, me and Cherish messed up the, oh the actual gosh. dates today. Like, I don't know. I still don't yeah, get how we did it. I was, no. I asked I mean, her, no. so what time is it over there? This was a few days ago. What time is it over there? Because we wanted to be on the stream at the same time. And she goes to me, it was, I don't know, I can't remember what time you said to me. So I said, okay, let's calculate how many hours am I in front of you? And I'm, I was like, nine hours. Exactly. I was sure. <laughs> I counted like five, six times. And then I went and set oh, up the event for this stream. And then I find out that we're going one hour in front now, because the times worldwide has changed. We've all gone one hour no. in front. No. Huh? <laughs> no, just you. <laughs> Explain it. Explain it. I don't get it. I still don't get it. I don't know. March 10th, March 10th, uh, the U.S. had daylight savings time. Why? Right? Why isn't it, why isn't it worldwide at the same time? Make things I like... don't know. <laughs> hey, we, we just learned new things. Can you tell? For me, it's today. Know. Yeah, and I actually we read up on it, it a few minutes ago. Wide. Like, just before the stream, I checked it out. There are countries that didn't even go, like, one hour forward. They just stayed where they were. It's crazy. See, Anyways. I told him he should do one hour. Or I told him he should do, uh, he should do streams, too. Uh, whether hey, it's Fellini. just, like, tutorials on Twitch or, or uh, tutorials on YouTube. But I definitely think he should come back and, and do some, some streams. I thought about Twitch. I did think about often. Twitch. But you need to Twitch invest a lot of time. Super interactive, man. No. Oh, by the way, guys. First, I, I want to say hello to Tigger Fellini. Hey, girl. What's up? And um, oh god, look at these. I just now see these messages. Sorry, a lot of countries don't do it. Yeah, no, exactly. In Jersey, it's 1:45. Got back a little bit. Joe doesn't like Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Windows 10 either. But I think I'm going to have to start learning it because all the software now is getting upgraded now to Windows 10 only, and that sucks. Zaria Cherry. <laughs> right, so, um, what were we talking about? Before I just lost, uh, we were saying something. I forgot what it was. So, anyway, we messed up the time zones, I and know. I set up the it event so for 7 o'clock my time, and it was like meant to be 10 her time, and it, it ended up being one hour earlier for some reason. I don't know how that happened. I still don't get how it happened. So, anyways, now we need to discuss now that we all agreed uh, that. Uh, I need to make artwork for somewhere else, and on YouTube we need to do something different. And we agreed now on, you know, something like entertainment of limited animation. I don't know what to do yet. I ain't got a clue. I did enjoy these guys on YouTube who create this kind of stuff. I love what they do. It was amazing. Now I want you guys to tell me topics, right? I know some of you want Cherry in it. I want. I know some of you guys want to see like a cartoon version of me um, or something or. And talk about me some memories. Why not both of you, you and Cherry? We can mix it up. We can have different episodes, you know. You, you've done you've done uh, sketches with you and Cherry multiple times. Why not create a, could a kind of will and grace between the two of you? I could do. I could do. Now, what these guys that did was cool. they they focused on emotional um, subjects. That's I think that's what really relates them to the audience, and they got really engageable. Um, actions from these, you know, different people. Um, so maybe I can do, for example, memories, good and bad memories. Uh, Kenna but... said you never told us the story about what happened to the animation you were going to do. Mm, the animation, right. So over a year ago, I advertised to everyone that I wanted to create a series that was going to be me acting and around me would have been these uh, cartoon characters that come to life. So I had this magic pencil that whenever I drew something, they became... They became, you know, they came to life, and um, little adventures between me and them. And this is what happened. I started filming the first couple of scenes, and uh, it took me ages, because I'm a one-man show, so I'm, I don't have a team. I'm by myself. And going through that learning curve to figure out how to do everything, I'd sit down after, like, a day's worth of filming and watch everything, and I'm like, oh, my God, it just looks lame. Let's redo it, because you learn from your mistakes, and you can go back in again to try something else. And so you figure out how, it's, how to balance everything out. It took a while to do that. So anyways, I did two scenes, which were quite long. And here's the thing. I was wearing like this autumn, winter type outfit. And over here in Cyprus, where I am, the, the weather over here is like Florida. It's like, you know, it gets crazy hot. 
We've got nine months of the year summer. It's dry as well. So uh, when that happened was, uh, the problem was that I couldn't continue filming with that outfit. I had to, I had to wear like, uh, you know, you can't, you can't film in winter outfits when it's like 40 degrees over here. You're going to sweat buckets. So I put a pause on the video, on, this, on the actual filming. But that's when I started to think about YouTube and if it was worth it back then. That's when I actually quit YouTube. I was like, am I going to go through all this trouble, upload all this all these videos and not get the engagement that I wanted, not get the results I wanted? Whereas Instagram, I was getting the results there. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I can upload these type of videos on Instagram and guarantee me getting those results. Um, so it was, it was a scary thing for me, you know. It was, I, was, I was discouraged, I won't lie. I felt discouraged. Uh, but I'm back now. So I want to test things out and see what we can do. So let me know now in the chat. I want to know what you guys think of topics. What, what, what ideas can I add to this limited type animation? Because it's a lot easier to do. Um, and it's a lot of fun as well. I just want to know topics. Any ideas? Any possible ideas? Do you want like emotional content? Do you want me to tell like storytelling about memories, or or maybe talk about a specific topic, like problems in the world, or whatever it's trending right now? What do you think, Cherish? Any ideas? What ideas we can use? Or any guys? Any ideas you guys have as well? Emma says. Emma says yes. Yes. Uh, Bolino says, "Hi, please. How can I how can I view all the animation in Flipbook instead of just frames on Autodesk Sketchbook?" Um, you can press play. There should be a player there, so you can play all your frames, or you can export as an MP4, I think, or QuickTime, some one of the two. There's an export option there. Cherry and Paris helping young people, informative kind of thing. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Like, exactly. So like normal everyday problems that people have I can maybe like through a limited animation like give some opinions or advice if I've got experience in that I can give some advice um, yeah things like that uh, how my art teacher hated me drawing anyway <laughs> I got one actually I could talk about cubism my favorite subject in the world did I tell you that remember that cubism me and Picasso we go way back maybe yeah. teaching principles of animation how do you see them yeah yeah, that could be done as well. Let me, let me just scroll back a little bit on the chat because I think I missed a few. All right. Uh, any ideas, Cherish? What about you? Maybe so, you could for what? do for like topics. Show where you can draw something. Right. Yeti says maybe you can dr do a request show where you can draw something live while fans can watch you draw with you. Yeah, we could do. That's what I'm doing right now in a way. Right? But is it something that will reach a wider audience i'll think about it though that's not a bad topic hey i'm good man how's you no i'm, I'm well for uh Tigger um i'm just excited to be back it feels good to be back in the seat in front of everyone on youtube it's been a long time it does feel good i mean i've got 79 million people watching right now <laughs> 77 now 77 million people watching <laughs> all right uh you never told us a story about you which i just told about that one and video has rtx 2008 I think Windows people 7. really enjoy storytelling. Use story or use Cherry and change the situation for each episode, like Cherry and Medieval Fantasy and Sci-Fi. Yeah, Cherry we could Superhero. Do that. Isolated episodes always start fresh. We could do that. Right. I don't know. Maybe you can make a Cherry like Sailor Moon. You know what they did in Sailor Moon, where at the end of every episode they had like the life lesson, because Sailor Moon says like a message. Cherry right. says, yeah, it's like a, it's like an advice lesson where each of the characters within yeah. it have some special message, and you can have That's pink nice. there. You can have a lot of these characters that we've kind of all learned to fall in love with, like your bunny characters and mm -hmm. your octopus, and then, you know, you've already created Cherry in all these different outfits, so you're comfortable with this, the scenario change and style change of her and the shift of different worlds. She could be like a, t uh, a, a realm jumper or a That's story so jumper. Yeah, something a like that. A story jumper. It could Kinda be like the animal Doctor characters. Who, yeah, it could be the animal characters doing something or, or explaining something, or, or maybe I could use completely different characters. Cherry. Yeah, or like combine. Yeah, what's what was that one movie with uh? Yeah. What's her face? Which one? The red hair. She had the red hair, and she saying, um, she came out. She came out of her her cartoon and came to real life. You talking about Roger Rabbit or the Cool World? No. Which one? 
Not it was enough. a recent movie. Does anybody know which one I'm talking about? No, I don't I'm have a clue. Her name. By the way, guys, did you know that Cherish is a streamer now? Did I, did I mention that? I didn't mention it, did I? Cherish is, is, has been started... When did you start? It wasn't that long ago. Recently. Oh, I think it was like three months ago. Oh, Enchanted! Did you Enchanted? I love Enchanted. Enchanted, yeah. Oh my god, that yeah. was brilliant. I love that one. So something like that, because it also enables and allows you to kind of dive in there too. Yeah, something um, like that. Or yeah. Cherry to dive out in cartoon form into your world sometimes. So it combines your old ideas with your new ideas. Yeah. That's not you bad know, idea. In a sense. So she could come out of her, her comics story strips that are interactive strips like you have and mm. then dive into your world for some small interaction where it's just her mouth moving and you guys are sitting next to each other and kind of interacting in some sort of way. But it yeah. kind of creates and bridges uh, your old ideas with your new ones. This is the final image, by the way. Wow. Check it out. And by the way, uh, so a little bit about Cherish. She's going to be streaming on Twitch. Are you streaming today, Cherish? Yes, I am. What time are you streaming? You're going to stream straight away after this, or are you going to? I'm going to stream. Yeah. After All right. This. Let me let me add Cherish. She's, she plays a lot of games. She likes art. She does cosplay. She sings. She's funny, quirky. You're going to love her. This is her link to her Twitch. Yeah. Whenever you guys want to go and uh, give her a little follow, I'll be on there as well actually after this. Uh, Woo. But this is the final image for everyone to see. And, um, yeah, so, uh, let me just quickly say what I almost said. I but love I all the little faces, the one by her feet. <laughs> He's cute, <laughs> isn't she? See, that's the original cherry face. Put it back, you know. Not a show on your cherry teaching it. about old animation techniques and books. I could tweak it in, you know. I could tweak it in. By the way, this is my little Instagram wall right now. I'm showing you guys some images. Oh, my God, I could just see you, like, erasing her face or something. <laughs> like, in the middle of a conversation, her mouth. I could Look at this image right it. now. Did cool. you see Cherry Vespa there? That was an original, that was a remake right there of the original that I did back in the days. That wall is yeah. cool. With the Isn't that cool, that wall? <laughs> fudge, yeah. <laughs> I'm over here, like, do you make wallpaper like that? <laughs> no, but I should, you know. That's, I, think I would love to have that's that on so on my wall. You need to do that. That looks That's like Mel and Annie thing. right now. That's Mel and Annie. Holy shit. The man. flying leopard. So, all right. So we come to Sorry, a conclusion. So I, I'm going to think about um, topics and stuff. And um, yeah, we'll do a little test. We'll, I'll make one. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was my Streamlabs. I That's didn't Eve. know the sound was on. Somebody followed me. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Guys, go give Cherish a follow, and I'll catch you on her stream as well when, when we leave this stream. I'll be on there. Oh, I love that. What are you going to play? Are you going to play anything awesome? You did? Uh, I'm going to play Fallout 76 today. I 76, got all, cool. I lost all my stuff. I got to resource all my stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. The one you did with the girl and all the flowers, oh, I love that. That's Eve this from the Garden of Eden. Uh, and the girl with the, the flower behind her ear. Those, those two, some of my favorites. Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah, that's a lovely one as well. And, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to create one, and I'm going to put it on there. And I want everyone to give me their honest, brutal opinion. Sir William, he's getting everything organized so that he can put everything in, in a place where it's accessible for everybody to kind of... Um, yeah. He's still sorting it all out, but he will. I think he will have something uh, eventual for those yeah. types of things of selling or auctioning original drawings or oh, was it, things was like that. I didn't see it. Well, he wanted to know uh, if you ever have any plans of selling or auctioning your original drawings. I off. will do. I will be making. A, I've, I've been checking a few of these websites out, like um, what's that called? Uh, there's a few of them that are really popular. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test them out and buy my own work from them to see what the print quality is like, because I'm really scared about print quality. Uh, oh, the mermaid, love her. Yeah, and uh, see how it goes. And uh, yeah, Here, this is some nice little images for everyone to see. Uh, these are sketches and from Sketchpad and digital paintings I've done, or, you know, just for Instagram and stuff. So if you guys, you know, if you guys want to see my work, I, I draw weekly. I'll post it on there. And here's a little thing to check out. After this stream is over, I'm going to be posting this sketch that I just did on Instagram. And just observe how people engage over there. And you'll see, I'm going to, after this, I'm also going to upload a speed video of the whole process we've done today. And you'll see that when it comes to engagement, 
for an artist, uh, you'll notice that a platform like Instagram is so important, you know, to be on, you know, it, it just works. The best place for reward to gain exposure and everything. And that's mother nature, by the way, right there. <laughs> and uh, you'll see that you'll compare the video with the same image. You won't get the same results. That's what bub you know, bugged me a lot back in the, over a year ago. I love the Frida character with the fruit hat. That's, that's mother nature. Oh, she is? Yeah, that's I Mother Nature. I love her. <laughs> Are you going to do like a whole series of some of these characters? Cause I don't know. Holy shoot. I ain't got a clue. Some of them I've, I've kind of like, you've done them a couple of times. Like, I don't know if it's an intentional thing or you just kind of have them stuck in your head still. But you kind of yeah, go back to I these do. similar faces with some of these characters. So <laughs> like seeing them in their own series or combined in the cherry kind of thing as other characters, I don't know. It might be cool. It would be cool. It would be cool. Cause I, I, I like character design. like. Yes, I don't. That's a friend of mine right that, there. Cause That's like the that. the green witch. What's the name? For, I forgot her name from uh, Wicked. You'll see in a sec for you, Cherish. You'll be early because there's a delay on the stream. When I'm talking. Yeah. Oh yes, there yes, I now. like that one. I love that one. Yeah. Un un misunderstood. It's what's what it's called. Her and the spider. <laughs> and this is oh. right now. You're gonna see Greece. <laughs> if if Disney went Greece. I love this sketch, man. I don't know, it's something about it I really love. You're gonna see it in a few sex, Cherish. <laughs> you got like, you know, Aladdin oh my there. Shit. Are you gonna you got do Herc more? and stuff. I would love to do that, man. I think that would be an awesome I show for Disney should. to do. Greece well, is the that. Oh my god, I think you should do it. Just, just as a thought, like maybe in a comic <laughs> strip, like just map it out. I think it'd be entire, awesome. Like, maybe that could theme. be a topic. Maybe like that could be an actual episode. Yeah, you know, something like that. Yes. We gotta be a bit creative and you know think about what being engaged. Is she part of the same uh, flying leopard? Yeah, that's Mel and Annie. The one that was dancing. The one was dancing. I think. No, 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 no. That's complete. That's just a ballerina. That's okay. just a ballerina. Yeah. All right. It's gonna combine post. the two for the next idea for that in some sort of way because she definitely looks like she may fit in the same thing. Exactly. Theme. Ooh, that that looks like Charlie's Angels. All right, for well, the three, the Aww. three girls, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna see now, a, like a cherry with a like a little girl. You, I just saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, super cute. You got Tinkerbell really here as well. Angel. Little sketch of Tinkerbell. That's what I like about Instagram because I don't well, have I like to record, that. so I could just like be really like focused on what I'm creating. It's nice. By the way, guys, this is a tip for you guys. If you're a genuine artist, serious about your work, you want to get yourselves out there. I know some of you don't like Instagram. I didn't like it when I first started either. I thought it was a silly platform. But I was so wrong. You, anyone and everyone is on there. Any any top I don't know, superstar in the industry that you admire is on there. And there's a reason. If you're not on there, you're missing out on tons of exposure. And if you're not getting exposure... Ooh, love her. You like it? <laughs> the, ball, she, the one that had no yeah. hair. I love the girl, the girl sitting kind of on the brick wall too. Yeah. Sorry. Right, so if you're not getting <laughs> if you're not getting your exposure on Instagram, it's only because of two reasons. One, you don't understand the algorithm properly. I didn't understand the algorithm properly until I started picking people's brains. People got I've got friends who got millions of followers and stuff, and asked them questions. And I also got in contact with people in the offices of Instagram to understand the algorithm. Now I finally understand it. It's been like six months, and I've seen a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, um, getting real results that I've never seen before. So you have to understand the algorithm. And number two is your skill set. Build on your skill set. All right. All right, girls and boys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, if you guys want to jump onto Cherish, Cherish's stream, here's a link. I left the link in the chat. I'll leave it again just in case some of you didn't see it. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah, Jonathan likes Instagram. Me too. Thanks for giving us all hey, those Telmo. ideas. Hey, Telmo. Nice to see you here, man. I'm about to close the stream, though. <laughs> I'm about to get off the stream. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to go and um, start making a speed video of this whole process that we've done today. Hope you guys enjoyed the image, and thank you for, like, hanging out. And it was Are nice you going to color get... her? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm excited. And Whoa. it's good to get everything Whoa. off my chest, because there was people wondering what happened. It's nice to get my, you know, everything off my chest. And, um, yeah, so that's what's to, be, what's to be expected. Hey, Angelo, 14, that's my nephew. <laughs> what's up, bro? Uh, hello. He came, he came a little bit late, man. It's alright though, it's okay. And um, yeah. support. <laughs> support. Oh, there he goes, bye. <laughs> I'm his godfather, by the way. He's an awesome, oh, awesome kid. Goodness. 
and um, yeah so that's the plan for the future of this channel I'm gonna test it out if it works then you can be I'm gonna be organizing okay. myself to do this full time if it doesn't work you just catch me on Instagram and that's it all right guys say bye cherish yeah I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna go and head off to I turn know. your stream on oh, and I um, I yeah you. I'll catch yours very very soon don't forget to join the fam on Instagram bye bye say bye cherish say bye, bye guys <laughs> thanks for hanging out <laughs> ciao <laughs>